What is good everybody? I am Kirby Wan and welcome back to Frostpunk. Last time we were here, we end up finishing our old base in uh, the scenario A New Home. We end up fending off the blizzard and surviving it. A bunch of souls, a bunch of people unfortunately lost their lives due to just being sick or frozen to death, um, which was unfortunate. But uh, their lives paved the way for the rest of us to survive, I guess. So what I'm trying trying to say kind of in a heroic way, valiant way, um, that their deaths were uh, not in vain. Um, so the rest of us uh, survived with, the, like, there's 156 uh, people left. So these can get chilly. They can't go below chilly. So they're fine for now. But when this temperature drop happens... We'll need to uh, make sure that they're all warm and heated. Um, and so then, yeah, so then we started the next uh, story in the uh, thing, or the next scenario in the list. And that is called the Arcs, which is a bunch of seedling arcs, which uh, we have to, we are, so the starting group here was like a bunch of scientists and engineers from Oxford and Cambridge. Um, and they're looking to prever preserve the seeds for the future uh, generations to be able to have uh, whenever this winter lifts lifts uh, lifts yeah so that is what going on here um, scouts are coming back right now to drop off resources then I'll send them back out there because we gotta find the factory plans in order to build ourselves some factories um, sign the public house. I don't know if I ever got this last time. I want to start this research first. Looks like I'm slowly running out of food. And since we're all engineers and, well, we're all classified as engineers, not workers, we can't uh, get a hunter's hut for us, so. What is this symbol? It's like heated, maybe? Is that what that symbol means? Can I be only one? There can be only one. All right, so it looks like we are kicking things off with a good time. I wonder, yeah, the seeds will start to freeze beyond recovery. I wonder if one day is too much or if they'll be okay. Scouts have returned. Don't send them out to this broken automaton on their way. Be on their way, their merry way. Wood crates depleted. Let's get more wood crates then. Oh, I have people working on that. Let's get more wood crates here then. What's going on? Seedling arcs might freeze. Captain, in a few days, temperature will drop. Our seedling arcs will be in danger. We have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hub. Oh, there you have access to heaters. I guess I'll get that research next. Should I give... Should I already give the engineers an overtime shift? Emergency shift! Heaters. Let's go then. That pass. People upset about it. They should be. You guys suck. You're at my mercy with your emergency shift. Get to work. 24 hours. Get this research done. Let's go. Then we'll need to get the hot house research done. Let's go. 
How's this coal pile doing for you, Automaton? Cool. Let's get... And these cost steam cores as well, that's right. Okay, you guys can get heaters on. Does that affect our coal? A little bit. Eats up an additional what? Twenty-four coal. Twenty-four coal a day. Public house has been erected in accordance with the new law. People are anxious to let off steam in the new house of respite. Yeah, time to get fucking hammered, am I right? Oh fuck, yeah, I need one of these. A snow pit. Go, you dogs. No, go away. I'm busy right now. Gosh darn dogs. Ah, bees. Should I just go a new route with everything? I don't know, I haven't decided. I'll sign this, because it's easy. I haven't decided if I should just go a different route with everything or what. What I should do. Okay, let's zoom. Let's zoom through. Hothouse researched. I could get bunk houses right away, put everyone up in a bunk house. Sure. We have people working. Fifteen here, let's drop down to ten. Whoa. Heal the sick. Hot house. It's too big to fit anywhere. Right there it goes, I guess. Steam cores were devised. We have just used our first steam core. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. I would like to manufacture them in the city, but this game just doesn't have that feature. I guess that's part of the struggle, right? Just put an automaton on here. Automaton, automaton. Then I'll have to build a coal thumper at some point. Malfunction repaired. This automaton was left where it broken down. Thankfully, we've managed to dig it out and fix it. We can now send this fully operational automaton back to the city. It leads to two new places, and the automaton will reach our city on its own. Send it to the city then. Let's go here for us. The automaton will arrive in a day and a half, pretty much. Cool, cool, cool. We'll have to think about getting maybe some of these resources gathered up. Uh, Oh, 
plus the timer, I guess. Got some engineers working there. Ooh, the lost dreadnought. Our expedition's main vehicle left hopelessly wedged in a cre crevice. Crevasse. Crevice. Exploring it will be difficult, but we have to find the factory plans that are on board. Might find coal, steel, wood, steam cores, technology to acquire. Factory plans. We rappled down into the crevasse crevice, listening to the ominous sounds of the ice cracking underneath the weight of the steel behemoth. After an hour or so of searching, we find the document safe and retrieve the factory plans. We must get them to the city as fast as possible. The weather is getting worse by the minute, and we need automatons to secure the city and sealing arcs before the storm hits. Get 50 coal, 100 wood, 100 steel, 3 steam cores, and I'm guessing the factory plants is what that gear symbol means. Let's take them. Let's head back to the city, and uh, then we might go, yeah, explore some other shit here. Maybe industrial ruins. Sounds like a good place for steam cores, doesn't it? Just kind of looking at this outer map, map, it's quite a bit different than a new home. These things are like the mountain ranges and whatever, or whatever you would call these. The earth formation is quite a bit different. Excellent, now we can start setting up the automated infrastructure to keep the seedling arcs at a safe temperature. Bring back the plan, set up a factory, increase the number of automatons to three. So these are chilly again, but that'll be okay. Too cold to work. Guess the heat is not on yet. Must be at least chilly. At least chilly. What else do we got here? Every meal slightly lowers discontent. We can give people a bit of liquor now and then to soothe their aching bodies and souls. Eating soup causes less discontent as well. Hope will fall slightly. Prostitutes can be employed in the public house to further lower discontent. Goddamn prostitutes. Let's get that. <laughs> People get alcohol every day to cheer them up. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Alright, what is next? Coal Thumper, I think, should be next. Coal Thumper, Sawmill, all those basic resource buildings. Should uh, be next in line. Chili, was a bunkhouse upgraded to? Does a bunkhouse have? Base seating level two. So that would mean, should uh, warm up to uh, livable maybe because it'll be two so it combats the weather and then it's in a heat zone so then it's plus one so it'll be plus one heat so maybe it gets livable anywho we need to our scouts are going to return faster than the automaton I guess might move a little slower because of its uh, size. Well, frostbite. Can I sign a law already? I have to wait a day and six hours to do so. But I will consider it. Next, uh, next chance I get. Coal Thumper researched. Let's go with the uh, sawmill. Sawmill then, next. 
cut down these trees and shit. Still got one full wood pile though that I'll be able to work into, so. It's highlighted here. Oh, the coal thumper? Yeah, makes sense. Thumper here, I guess, and it'll need a... Well, actually, I can just set people. I don't need a gathering post just yet. I can just send people on to the coal piles that get created. Oh, they've made it back. Factory. Of course we're sending them back out. Let's go here. Let's go here, Mr. Scouts. Go find me something good. Find me something good to get. Do I have a steam core? I have six steam cores. Wowzers. And the factory, of course, takes one up. Build a factory right there. I need to find, like, some more people. Just help me fill out all these buildings. Automaton reaches the city. Sir, Automaton reach our city. It's fully operational, ready to work. Let's get it working on the coal thumper then, I tell you what. I tell you what. Hmm. Hmm. Take these guys off coal pile, set them here. Let's build an automaton. Oh, 100 steel? Well, I guess I have 100 steel. I guess. Oh, I just got a bunch. That makes sense. Let's turn you off. Let's get here, actually. Get the automaton working here. No chilling in the snow for you. Go gather us resources, you robot. And everything warms up. Let's turn you down, off. Just save us some coal for a little bit. You guys going to work? Move, people, get to work. I was wondering why this wasn't operating. That would be why. Is this filled out with patience already? Dead gambit, I'm getting too sick. Sawmill researched. Uh, I guess I'll go with this and then I'll get the coal mining upgrade. And maybe just send the automaton out there to work instead of this coal thumper. Also, I maybe wanted to extend the range on my... Automatons are performing admirably. Now we have to make enough of them to automate all the critical operations in the city before the storm hits. It's the only way to ensure the seedling arcs will be supported during the storm. This one looks sturdy. All the cogs are oiled. I don't know if I should build another one right away or if I should just hold on. He's got, got nothing to build. Engineer won't be able to work for 24 hours. Get back to work. Sir, an engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automatons can be improved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learned how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can adjust it to improve its performance. Why should it be any different with them? Sure, give them the day off, I guess, you fucking freeloader. 
play at least two automatons in the coal industry, one in the steel, one in the wood, one in the raw food. Oh shit, automatons can work here. Interesting, the more you know. Where'd I send that third? Oh, just on this coal pile. How's this going? Sawmill, yeah, it can be like out here. Coal thumpers can be anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. People died. No, oh, probably because of our uh, thing we signed. One of our people just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. Need a way to dispose of the body. Okay, next choice is gonna have to be made. Hopeful rise, no risk of disease from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep people from work for a few hours. You'll have to establish a cemetery. No risk of disease from buried bodies. Bodies will be preserved for potential future use. Dig a snow pit. Hope will fall. Discontent will rise. I think we'll just probably go with mostly different uh, choices. Um, this game, I think that'll be be the goal to mostly go in the opposite direction of what we did last time, just to spice things up a little bit, just to make them just slightly different. But I'm going to go ahead and I guess get another automaton going. Because what do I need total? Two, one, and one, and one. So is that four or five automatons? So I'll go with two more because I need at least five to uh, complete this mission. Our scouts are about to get to a place. Let's see what they're up to. Steel and coal. No steam cores. This building was destroyed by a powerful avalanche. Its interiors are filled with snow, but we should be able to retrieve some resources. Buried alive. We discover a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow. Sadly, that's not all we find. An avalanche killed everyone who worked here. Their corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and the insignia on Her Majesty's Prospector Corps core suggests they were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the great winter maybe it's for the best that they weren't there to witness the fall of the empire holy shit that's a lot of resources send them back then we'll send them this way just keep sending them back and forth Anytime they get resources, gotta come back to the city. That's the new rule. So let's go with corpse disposal, I guess. I have to build a snow pit. It's tiny, it's a little snow pit. Uh, oh, excuse me. Guess we'll build it right there. Snow banks for graves. Where's the dignity in that? There is none. You're a scientist. It's for science. Because we'll be able to then probably sign organ transplants. Hell yeah, border. Storage is full. Off. Uh, on. Just have this automaton flipping back and forth between working at the coal thumper and gathering the coal thumper's resources. That makes sense to me. This automaton will be freed up, then maybe we can put it on the hothouse. Snow pit is ready. We can now dispose of corpses, but that doesn't mean people are more content or hopeful. Dumping our dead in the snow is nothing to be proud of. 
No, I guess it's not really, but it's for science. Science. What's this? They don't got anything to do or what? Just closed. Oh, they're out of steel and wood. Yeah, probably need some more of that. left there 28 left there 120 need to get people working in the steel uh, ASAP a soon out here wonder if automatons need streets to work you know Oh nice, scouts have returned. Let's go to the Icefall Mine. Oh yeah, and our coal is really theoed up. Crazy. Put you to work there, the steel's done. Is that the issue? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I just put 10 people out of a job. That's right. That's right. That's right. Put you to work. Go on free automaton that I'd put out of steelworks, probably. Oh, but we need wood, too. If it still needs a street or not, but I guess we'll build it one and let's zoom. Let's zoom on through. There we go, Steelworks is done. These guys have like three sets of automation integration upgrades. God damn. Automation scouts. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's go with that. Okay, let's continue zooming. Zooming. Let's continue zooming. Oh, good job. Good job, Automaton. What happened? Oops. What are the people mad about? Test subject needed. Sir, the engineer working on Automaton. Project is back. Who wants to borrow an automaton? I'm close to breakthrough. I just need an automaton for a day and I believe I'll be able to propose specific modifications that will raise their performance permanently. I guess we'll give him an automaton. Which one did he take? Going to refuel. Building. Both going to refuel, so how do I know which one he took? Sure. Listen, everyone. New law is dying. New law. Making use of the useless? Who would object to that? It makes perfect sense. I just hope it won't be me. Well, just don't die, Ara, and you won't have a problem. Uh, 
warm yet. It's about to get cold again. Turn these back on. How's this going? Oh, he took this one maybe? The lone Canadian. Turn on. Got an automaton working here. How many days of food is this? About two days. Split it like that for now, I guess. Do I have any amputees yet? No. I was just wondering if that different uh, law made it so I had like the gravely ill law where it uh, has the possibility to create some amputees if I created any yet or we're all right. Guess we're losing coal because we can't actually store any coal. So I still start building a bunch of steam hubs, right? Then we're boned. Sure, I'll build it. I don't know if I'm going to run it yet. You know what I mean? I don't know if it'll be operational, but it'll be there for when, say, an automaton's ready to get to work. People complain about getting an emergency shift put on them, but then go to build a building at like 1 in the morning. No problem. No questions asked. I wonder if my automaton is uh, going to be real good after this, or if they're just going to uh, shit the bed and the guy's going to wreck the automaton. Scouts, what have you found me? Mine is at risk of being buried. By an avalanche at any time, it must have been abandoned a long time ago. Oh geez, we are kind of getting over time here. Judging by the equipment, it looks like this mine was constructed before the Great Winter. Possibly by the first prospectors to explore the area, the general disarray inside the building suggests that they were abandoned abruptly, presumably due to some sort of earthquake. Many valuable resources were left behind. Let's take them all and bring them back to the city. And uh, we'll see what happens with our automaton in the next video, I guess. But uh, we'll keep banging out some research, getting the research tree filled out. Might, uh, might focus on just getting drafting machines done next. We'll see. And uh, we'll go from there. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today. So I would like to thank you so much for tuning in. And to friggin' smack that subscribe button as it really helps out the channel. And I do really appreciate it. And as we say up in Canada, peace out.